What do you think about blockchain music streaming services? Facebook, Libra, oh, that can just piss off, can't it? It's just Facebook. This year's been a bit shit, really, isn't it? Hey guys, welcome to the Kane Audio Vlog. It is Friday. It's time for another Ask Me Anything. Usual rules apply, comment anything you want below this video and I'll get back to you in next week's video. Before I look at last week's video, is there any house admin? Yes, there's a couple of things. First of all, uh, I have looked ahead at this week's video just to see how many comments there were. And there's a few, but actually there's not many questions. Uh, so... Uh, we're back to where we were again a few weeks ago where I may or may not do one next week. It depends on how many questions come through. Also, on that note, next week, next Friday in particular, is Christmas Day. So, first of all, Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, although I guess I would be saying that more officially in next week's video, but as it's Christmas... I may not bother doing a video, so maybe let's leave it two weeks and I'll see you the week after. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, so, on that note, please do make sure you're subscribed to this channel and click the little notification bell so that you get notified when these videos go up. Um, I'll be honest, this whole channel is basically just these weekly AMAs, so... Uh, I would say you're probably fairly safe to, to click on the uh, notification bell because you're really only going to get a notification once every Friday when these AMAs go up. Uh, so it's not like I'm going to be harassing you because I'm too lazy. Um, aside from that, I want to thank everyone that listened to Deadly Custard's EP last week. Uh, available everywhere, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, whatever. There'll be a link below this video uh, in 5302 stuff. Um, and thanks to everyone who's given great feedback. It's been it's been great. Uh, the EP is incredible, so it, it's all deserved. Um, and to celebrate this week, the 5302 Electronica playlist that I curate every couple of weeks on Spotify has been taken over by Deadly Custard for this round. So it is entirely his selection of music and uh, there are some absolute crackers in there. So, yeah, uh, enjoy the next couple of weeks of uh, of the 5302 Electronica playlist because it's all entirely his. Uh, yeah, I think that is it for House Admin. Like I say, it's Christmas next week. So, and it lands on a Friday this year. So I may record it on a Thursday as normal and put it out on Christmas Day. But that kind of seems silly, doesn't it? Who, who's going to watch a, a an old guy nerding out over audio synthesis stuff on Christmas Day? I I don't really see that happening. So I, I might just skip next week and, and go right ahead uh, and therefore see you next year, sometime in the future. Uh, who knows? And looking at last week's video, uh, Fixing Room Acoustics, Ask Me Anything 134. Uh, thank you, Don, for the many, many, many plugs for my EP. Uh, this is Deadly Custard, uh, which is out right now on all good platforms. Uh, hope everyone enjoys it, and huge thanks to all of those who've had a listen so far. Uh, I can see there's replies. I'm not even going to reply, uh, uh, view those replies. Um, uh, Mitch Brown, uh, Oil, high five. Uh, cheers for answering my question. I'll experiment with my speaker placement and check out Room EQ Wizard. Yes, so this was uh, fixing room acoustics, as last week's video says. Um, yeah, and I suggested using Room EQ Wizard just because it's kind of a quick and easy way of just getting an idea of um, which frequencies are like the most troublesome in your room. Um, and let us know how you get on. Um, Attack like music. Great release from Deadly Custard and 5302 Recordings indeed. It's a fine oil high five for our rusty brains after this crazy year. Uh, question for this week. Following these discussions about Spotify and alternatives, 
What do you think about blockchain music streaming services? Right now it seems to be essentially based around the Ethereum blockchain technology which can't really compete with Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. But there's Facebook, Libra, uh, that should make its appearance next year and I won't be surprised if companies like Spotify also get involved into blockchain music streaming in the future. What are your thoughts? Have a nice weekend and cheers. So uh, th there's a couple of things to kind of unpack there. Um, first of all, let's start at the start. What do I think of uh, blockchain music streaming services? So to my understanding, they are not using the blockchain to stream the music. They are merely using the blockchain to contain the data which if you ask me is kind of pointless I mean if there was anything that ever needed to be centralized it's probably a jukebox <laughs> so uh, I don't I don't see there being a benefit to uh, a music streaming service using blockchain I can't I can't get my head around why why they would want to do that um so my understanding of of blockchain in general is that it is a public ledger and therefore all the accounts or the data or yeah let's just call it data because it doesn't necessarily mean accounts uh you know all the data is kept public and any changes to data are kept public and accessible to the public and that for some things can be very very beneficial uh, in fact my favorite blockchain technology that i think affects everyday life uh is there's a car one there's also a dentist one i think that that uh works in a similar fashion but basically the car one i, I read up on once that was uh, basically looking after your uh, any servicing and any repairs and mileage and annual checkups and whatever you have in your country we we have MOTs in the UK um, and that if that's all kept on blockchain then it means that nobody can sort of sell you a lemon so you know you get some people who will dial back the uh, the the clock on a car and then sell it for a higher price and whatever you know that that's going to be very visible if everything was kept on the blockchain um, so there are things like that that benefit it's it's that public access to, to knowledge and data is really kind of the, the goal of blockchain technology the the money side of it is kind of an entirely different thing uh, on that note I've seen Bitcoin this week hit $20,000 in fact about $23,000 yesterday uh, which is insane um, I'm not going to get into the whole oh it's overvalued or undervalued thing because everything is valued at what people are willing to pay so it is what it is uh it's odd though I'll give it that um you're saying it's based around ethereum blockchain technology which can't compete with bitcoin I'm not sure that's necessarily true I mean it can't compete with bitcoin in terms of price but in terms of technology my understanding is ethereum is more malleable i won't say better but it's m perhaps has more use cases than bitcoin um, but i'm not a bitcoin cryptocurrency specialist in any way shape or form so I, I i could be entirely wrong so if anyone thinks i'm wrong please do let me know in the comments um facebook libra well that can just piss off kind of it's just facebook going for a money grab uh should make an appearance next year won't be surprised if companies like spotify also and get involved so i don't i i mean it wouldn't surprise me if spotify have their own thing at some point but like i say i don't see there being any actual benefit to the consumer um i think these things at the minute and as of let's be honest 2017 um cryptocurrencies for the vast majority have just been a money grab you know um just throwing out a, a, an ipo and 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 
making as much money as you can as quick as you can um and i think it, it's almost lost its original meaning at the minute so um yeah it's kind of a tricky one i do think there is a lot of societal value in blockchain in general though so i i i don't want to piss all over blockchain technology because I, I think it's a great thing and i think uh, mathematically and uh socio-economically there are huge advantages to it existing and i think it's a good thing to have around and i think uh once we as a society start using it in everyday things i think hopefully it'll really start to shine uh, which is definitely a good thing. Um, so yeah, so I, I I do think there's there's good stuff to be had from it. Uh, and there we go. That's that. Rod Marconi oil high five. Uh, this week, my friends, has been an incredibly short video, uh, which is probably good because I'm absolutely exhausted this week. Uh, I have been squeezing in as much work as I can before uh, Christmas. Uh, next week i'm gonna be somewhat shutting down i mean i kind of you know being self-employed musician you don't always get to choose your own hours so uh jobs will sort of stop coming in from now until new year so it does tend to quieten down um but it means that this last week in particular has just been flat out uh working on everything so uh yeah if i don't do a video next week i'm pretty sure i will do a video next week but if i don't then this year's been a very shit, merry really, christmas isn't it? and a happy new year to everyone and a huge thank you to uh everyone who has supported the channel this year uh for everyone um and yeah we've all kind of stuck through it together so uh, a high five to everyone that has supported this channel this year um and uh, uh an extra high five to those of you who have supported me on patreon um yeah i mean that's one of the reasons this channel keeps going so so any help is uh, much appreciated because uh, i do like doing these videos and hopefully we'll uh, get some more in next year uh yeah i, don't, I really don't know how to finish this video goodbye <laughs>